Hi guys, um, so I'm obviously doing a video today, um, I just want to say, excuse the way I look, I'm feeling like absolute rubbish um, today and it's also really hot so that's just great. Um, but anyway, um, I have um, a product review for you, well in fact two product reviews. Um, and one I bought myself and one I got in my birch box. So I'm going to start off with the one that I bought myself. Um, and this is the Glamza Deep Cleansing Black Mask. And this is one of the peel off face masks. Um, I think I paid about six, seven pounds for this. Um, I've never heard of the brand Glamza before. Um, and I must say... I've only used this product twice and I haven't really noticed a lot you know when you see people pulling pulling the mask off in these videos and you see all this crap coming out of their pores etc etc I didn't really notice that was me now either I'm just lucky and I have quite clean pores and I don't really get very congested or this isn't a very good product I don't know I can't really say anything it has made my skin look a little bit clearer so I'm pretty okay with this product just for doing that it's made my skin look a little bit clearer more glowy a bit more healthy um, but yeah so the price of this wasn't bad um, the packaging is pretty standard um, I don't really like the way this product comes out you have to sort of squeeze it out and it does come out very very black very very inky um, as you can see it is almost like putting ink onto the body um, which obviously is not very pleasant as you can imagine um, so yeah the other downside that I found to this product is it does take about half an hour to set before you can peel it off um, which is fine if you if you're having a sort of a, you know a little pamper evening and you've got kind of half an hour to spend on slathering stuff on your face and then just waiting um obviously that is also a downside if you are in a rush or whatever then this is probably not going to be the product for you um it dries kind of oddly it, it dries kind of patchy and a bit weird apparently this is normal um and yeah apparently it's, it's all normal and it's meant to dry that way um i've never seen another blackhead peel mask dry that way so i don't know if there is something in here that is just a bit different um overall i don't think this is that bad i also don't think it's that great it's a bit of a eh, sort of product if you know what i mean it's a little bit eh, okay fine um I will say this does hurt when you peel it off and when you are applying it be very careful to avoid your hairline and your eyebrows um, because it will hurt when you peel it off in those sorts of areas also all along the jawline that bit is also quite painful to remove um, I will say though it is very 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 satisfying very very satisfying so yeah this is kind of a meh Sort of product um i'm thinking of doing this kind of review every couple of weeks or every month where i get these products that are maybe a bit different or products that i found that i just really like i tend to do all of my reviews on my blog which i of course will leave linked down below um but just let me know if you'd like me to do a video review rather than just a written review um and also give me some ideas of names of what i can call this series because i think that would be great <clears throat> okay so the next product is the one that I got in my birch box and it's only a miniature sample um, but I have been very very impressed with what I've seen of this sample so far so I am debating about getting the full size product and it is the Estee Lauder nutritious micro algae pore purifying cleansing jelly now when I first saw this I was a bit like ew ew no I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put that on my face. Um, not because of the, the, the ingredients in it, not because it's algae, but because it's kind of like a an elasticy texture, which I'm not really into. And it smelt kind of weird. Like, it kind of smells like 
sea salt, if that makes any sense. It does have a kind of marine, oceanic kind of smell to it. So if that bothers you, then you won't like this. Um, so yeah, basically it says to massage into your skin, um, AM and PM. You can use it as a cleanser. I found that it does actually work quite well as a cleanser and it's a sort of it's a it's a green little jelly and you just sort of lather it up um it is hard to lather up unless your skin is very wet um so you do have to have like you've either had to have sprayed your face with some water or whatever um this is brilliant i've been using this for about five six days which as a rule i wouldn't do a review on something in that short of a time um, just because you can't really get a proper idea of the product but I have noticed a difference um, I don't use this to take my makeup off I don't use it as a cleanser I have something else for that but um, I use it afterwards as like a second cleanse and it makes my skin feel really really nice feels very very soft very clean very fresh like I don't know it just very very clean and very I don't want to say the word stark but it does feel like I have nothing on my face and it is just skin pure clean skin which is to me is brilliant um I mean they say to use it morning and night which if I did go out and buy this product I probably would use it that often because I really do like this um, the full size bottle of this is 21 pound which actually I'm not really that I'm not a type of person that balks at spending quite a lot of money on skincare I think that skincare is going to be expensive no matter what you buy it all depends on what works for your skin so to me 21 pound isn't that much money for a skincare item obviously to other people that that will be a lot more money um but this is definitely a brilliant brilliant awesome product and i would definitely recommend this to a lot of people if you have sensitive skin this will work for you if you have like me i have dry to combination skin this has not caused any extra dryness it seems to really hydrate my skin um, which is really good but I mean the only thing that puts me off about this is the texture I don't really like the texture of it but to me it does such a good good job on my skin that I can actually kind of look past that um, so yeah I mean this is brilliant it comes in a, in a little box in the birch box it comes it's a box within a box it's boxception in the let's say Lauder box which makes it feel quite luxury and nice um, so yeah one not so good one awesome product um and i've actually just had an idea of a name what do you guys think of awesome and awful or awesome or awful just let me know um but yeah so that is the end of this little midweek well end of week now because it's friday um little review let me know if you like my video reviews as i said i normally do written reviews on my blog but let me know how you guys feel about video reviews um and i also have something here as a little sneak peek which will be the thing that i talk about in my next video and it is the lycra wear 10 plus minerals nail polish from rimmel, rimmel in the shade ash rose um this claims to have 10 days wear without chipping um without a base or a top coat which I'm not utterly convinced about but I'm going to put it to the test I'm going to paint my nails tonight and we're going to see how long it takes for this nail polish to chip so this is what I will be talking about in my next video please please if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up it would mean so much to me also press the big red subscribe button you know I, I love you guys I love the fact that you people watch me so please just subscribe like all of that stuff um i will leave links to my twitter my instagram and my blog down below so please follow that and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching bye bye